Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to part three in our Schecter mini series. Today we're checking out the Schecter C1EA. So yes, today we're checking out the Schecter EA. Now the EA moniker stands for electric acoustic. Yes, this guitar has a full-blown piezo system built in. You know, I don't think I've seen anything at this price range with that kind of system on it, which is absolutely incredible. So we've got a pair of great sounding medium output humbuckers. We can split the tones. So we've got humbucker tones, we've got single coil tones, and we've got the piezo acoustic tones with a blender toggle. So we can blend all these different tones together. Fantastic. All right, so let's take a quick tour through the guitar and then we'll do a bunch of tones for you guys. Now, starting up at the headstock, we've got a beautiful flame maple matching headstock. Very, very beautiful. On the back side, we've got a set of Grover tuners. This thing's been holding tune really well. Now the nut itself is a graph tech nut, cut very nice. The action is low, um, the way the nut is cut is very good, tuning stability is great. Now on the fingerboard, we've got a rosewood fingerboard and it is 14 inch radius. So very flat fingerboard. The neck itself is a mahogany neck with beautiful kind of aged binding, you know, around the whole guitar. The fretwork itself is very, very nice. I haven't met a Schecter yet with terrible fretwork, so you know that speaks volumes. Um, and even though this isn't a you know a super high-end guitar, uh, the fretwork is very nice. The binding work is excellent as well. Now, as for the guitar body, the first thing I need to acknowledge is how amazing this flame top is. It's like something you would see off, you know, like a PRS core model. Looks absolutely amazing from every angle. Just absolutely stunning. Now, the body itself is mahogany, obviously, with that flame maple top. And it is semi-hollow, so very, very nice. Um, yeah, pickups, nice medium output humbuckers. We'll listen to those in a second. Uh, and as I mentioned, splittable. Then we've got our Fishman Power Bridge. So I'll take a close up of this so you can see each string or each saddle has its own output. So very, very nice, gives you a nice balanced sound. Uh, of course, we'll listen to those acoustic sounds. Uh, the stop tail piece here is a Tone Pro, which means it's not gonna fall off when you change strings because it's got that little Allen key adjustment that keeps everything in place. Now here's where things get really interesting. A person might think, well, this is just standard Les Paul controls. You got a volume for your neck and a tone for your neck volume for your bridge, tone for your bridge, but it's totally different on this guitar. So let's go through the controls really quick. Up here is your three-way toggle switch. So that is normal, neck, middle, and bridge. That's all cool. Now to control your humbuckers, you've got the top two knobs. So this is a master volume for everything and a master tone, and this tone splits the coils. So when it's down, it's full humbucking. When it's up, it's obviously split coils. So three-way switch, and your volume and tone, splittable. These are the controls for your magnetic pickups, okay? For your regular pickups. Now the bottom two controls are for your piezo pickups. So this is the volume for your piezo. So you can blend it with your magnetic pickup and just put a touch in if you want or put it all the way up, really nice for blending. And then this is the tone control for the piezo, okay? And then on the bottom, this selects what type of pickup. In the bottom here is your acoustic sound, your piezo. In the middle, it's both, okay? So this is where you can blend. You can, you know, blend your volumes. You can blend it with split coils. You can blend it with humbuckers. Tons of options for interesting tones. And then in the forward position, it's like a regular guitar without the piezo. So just your magnetic pickups. So that's a brief rundown of the features on the EA. Now in terms of overall construction, very, very nice. As I mentioned, the nut is cut well and it holds tune. Fret work is nice all the way up to the 24th fret. Uh, the finish work is nice where the, the neck meets the body, especially under here, you always wanna check just to see, you know, if there's any finished glooping or anything like that. Uh, binding uh, where it meets the neck, very, very nice. So overall, great construction on this one, but we wanna know what it sounds like. All right, so let's check out some tones. I'm gonna to be using my Hughes & Kettner GM Deluxe 40 into a 212 cab, mic'd up with an Earthworks SR25 and a Rode NT1. 
let's start off with some light breakup. I'm just going to go through, you know, the humbuckers and the split coils just so you can get a, a sort of feel of what some of the main tones of this guitar sounds like. Here we go. So now let's head over to the lead channel, do some single note playing. Here we go. All right, next up, we're just going to use the bridge pickup in its humbucking configuration. We're going to go over to the Ultra channel on the Hughes and Kettner, which is very high gain. Let's check that out. <laughs> And finally, yes, we need to check out the piezo system. This is one of the most cool features of this guitar. So I'm just going to go back to the clean channel on my Hughes and Kettner, still use the same 212 cab with the same mics, you know, just as you were, you know, if you're playing live, right? That's the whole point of this system, that you can quickly go from like a super high gain crunchy tone or some bluesy tones straight into some nice, you know, acoustic <laughs> strumming or finger style or whatever right that's the whole point the versatility of using kind of one rig one guitar to get all these different tones so let's check it out <music> Thank you. 
And finally, before I give you guys my final thoughts on this guitar, let's throw it into a mix with a backing track and see how it sits there. So, here are my final thoughts on the Schecter C1EA. Now this guitar competes price-wise with, you know, Fender Player Series, PRS SE, all those brands that are kind of in the upper mid-range tier, under $1,000, but still really high quality instruments. Now, based upon that competition, I think Schecter still has better value and more versatility, especially with this, uh, you know, electric acoustic model. Uh, I thought the pickup sounded really, really nice. I prefer kind of like medium output pickups anyway, um, because I think they just sound better clean. So still nice and warm. And then when, you know, used with overdrive, they still scream. They still sound absolutely fantastic. Um, usable tones for sure out of the Fishman Power Bridge. And, you know, the piezo is never going to sound like a mic'd up acoustic, right? That's not really the point of it. Anyway, it doesn't matter if you spend $3,000 on, you know, a Music Man John Petrucci model. Um, piezos are piezos, right? And uh, so I think it's usable tones. It's easy, easy to switch, pardon me, uh, easy to blend too. So, you know, so many different tones. I couldn't, you know, show you in one video all the tones, especially with the blending of volumes between the piezo and the magnetic pickups. So, you know, tons of versatility and I think they all sound good. Thanks so much for watching you guys and coming along on our Schecter mini series. I always like to feature guitars that kind of fly under the radar for, you know, most people, but offer a lot of value. So it's been fun to feature these guitars. Um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to do so. You can check out my t-shirt store and tab store in the video description below. This guitar will also be linked down there. So, you know, if you want all the specs, because, you know, I am certainly missed a few things when I was going through this guitar. So you can check out all the specs there. Other than that, have an awesome week, you guys. Take care.